And here continuing with our lectures on surface tension, we now want to figure out how they actually measure the surface tension. If you're like me, you start wondering about a lot of things and you say, well, how, they, how in the world do they do that? How in the world do they figure out what the surface tension is of a particular liquid, like water or mercury or anything else? Well, the way they do that is they take a very small, thin wire, they shape it into a circle shape, and then they attach some very thin wires to it so they can actually suspend it. And then what they do with that is that wire, they bring it down below the surface of a liquid, and then they start pulling in the opposite direction, measuring that force. And as they try to pull it out of the liquid, notice that the liquid will begin to adhere itself, because of the surface tension, all the way around the edge of that wire. And as you pull, the, the surface tension will continue to pull more and more and more. The angle of the surface tension will get smaller and smaller and smaller until it gets to be zero degrees. And then eventually, you pop it through the, the surface of the liquid, at that moment you measure the force, you see it increase, you measure the force, and then by that you'll be able to figure out the surface tension of that liquid. So, let's see how the equation works out. Again, the force caused by surface tension is equal to the coefficient of surface tension times the length. And since we're of course looking for the, for the coefficient, we say that the coefficient is equal to the force divided by the length. Of course, the force is something that you measure, and the length, of course, is something that, well, I guess you measure it as well. After you fashion that little wire, make sure you get it correctly, but let's, let's assume that the, uh, the radius of that uh, circular wire is 10 centimeters. Now, what is the length equal to? Well, again, if you think about it, if this is the wire, and here's the, the liquid that gets uh, pulled up with it due to the surface tension like that, notice that this wire has two sides. Of course, here's the uh, circular wire like that, right? It has two sides, so you have to take into account the inner and outer radius. So we have to take into account the inner surface and the outer surface of that wire, so it's twice the circumference of twice 2 pi r. So this is equal to the force divided by 2 times the circumference, which is 2 pi r which means that the surface tension can be calculated by taking the force divided by 4 pi r. And that's how they determine the surface tension of various liquids. Ingenious way, um, as always, can't figure it out unless you're willing to set up an experiment and measure it, but that's how they figure out the surface tension of particular liquids.